What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. And in today's video, I will be taking a look at Paul Valdez. Now, Paul Valdez is a Disney Pixar Cars hauler diecast. He was released back in 2010 and is one of my favorite hauler releases. Paul Valdez was seen in the first Cars movie. And uh, of course, he was also released with many other of these haulers that were different from the Piston Cup haulers. Some of those other ones including Bang Crinkle Shaft, Jerry Recycled Batteries, and Oliver Light Load. Paul Valdez is a really cool hauler, like I said. And I just recently actually did find the hauler piece to his diecast. I was in the process of cleaning my room and I was able to find it. And now here I am with the full on review of this guy. So for a quick little kind of overlook of the diecast, you can see he's a very cool diecast release. He is one of the longer diecast model types. You can see it kind of takes up the whole screen. Very nice. And I do think that the color of um, Paul himself and the hauler do actually go together very well. Either ways, let's get straight into it. But here we have Paul, so very nice. Of course, Paul is, I believe, a Peterbilt, or I believe this is what it, what it is, a Peterbilt, because that is what Jerry Recycled Battery said, and they are both closely the same model of, of a semi. So you can see, like most of the other semis, they have six tires with the colored rims. You can see the front ones stick out while the back ones are more on the inside. They also have a lot of like dirt and grime covering them as well, which is a really cool detailed design. On the back side here where the hauler does connect, it's got these like little tube tanks there. I don't know much about these semi cabs, so I can't really say what they are, but uh, they're really cool kind of little piece of the car that do have more of the scratches and cool kind of roughed uh, designs. On the back, you can see his license plate there, which does read ML115. So that is really cool. Then, of course, the actual uh, Peterbilt uh, area of the car. The main design of the diecast itself is really cool. You can see his little mouthpiece here. He has a really cool mouth expression where he is drinking out of a motor oil gas can which is actually connected to the car itself. So that is a really cool kind of addition just so it doesn't get lost. You can also see he's got like little dirt marks and little um, like stains and stuff on the, I guess, what is it? The grill or bumper of the car. And that goes kind of make it look like more of like a stubby beard. Of course, he also has the little grill up front there with two little black engine holes. He's also got this little white painted design, which goes to the back on both sides. He's got the little bars on the there. He's got the bars on the side and the little uh, mirrors there too. This side of the mirror is broken off of mine because it is very old. He's got his little eyes there, which are a nice kind of silver gray color. Of course, in a really nice expression form, which does fit the mouthpiece. On the little cap of the diecast, it has P and V with like two little star um, periods, which do kind of stand for Paul Valdez. So pretty nice. And on the back, you see he's got the two little pipes there. So very, very cool. Now, if we go ahead and move on to the hauler piece of the diecast, this one is really cool. You can see it's got four little tires there. Of course, the sides of the truck are actually, I believe, stickers is what they put on there uh, for the sides. Uh, from my experience, I think they are stickers. But you can see it's got a big and small red line kind of dashing across with a light, uh, like a bluish gray background. It's got a little logo up there on the top left with some numbers dotting down from the sides. See a little dirt and grime pieces all around it as well, which is a really cool design. On the back, 
It's got a couple little logos and more lettering across it. It is basically the same on the opposite side here, just inverted. So that's pretty cool. It's also got on the back side here, the two little doors that open up, license plate ML115, little tail lights and all that stuff with more of the dirt and grime covering it. And then the top is just another kind of stickered uh, on piece, which is a very stained kind of roof of the car. And if you want to, you can even open it up, which is a little hard to open, but yeah, it goes opens up this way. But you can open it up and it has like a metal floor with some stains and a lot of like boxes stacked up there. So that is pretty cool. But yeah, anyways, that'll do it for today's video on Paul Valdez. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.